See you tomorrow with another 12 inch tuna. Hold, Hold the, the mayo. mayo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest job ever. People are just handing us money. Our special effects budget is gonna be huge. Nothing can stop us now. This is not good. Meep, meep. That seemed intentional. Is she allowed to do that? Let her get it out of her system. Over the past two days, it has been brought to my attention that this family is a bunch of liars. Through my research, stalking, whatever, I have concluded that every single person in this room is guilty of fake laughing at my funny texts. When you send something and I ha-ha it, it's just me trying to be courteous and move on with my day. Move on with your day? <gasps> OMG. Notice how my face matches the emoji? <laughs> it's not that hard, people. Last month you sent me over 100 jokes. You can't expect me to actually laugh at all of them. That would be like batting a thousand in baseball. You should be happy if I laugh at three out of 10. You only laugh at three out of 10 of my jokes? Lucy, surely your ha-ha's mean something. If you write ha-ha, it means you acknowledge the text, but you want to end the conversation. Much like I'd like to end this conversation now. So, ha-ha. Wow. Just wow. Sometimes your jokes can be really confusing. And, and what does it mean when you send a joke and bad news in the same text? Like, like when you said Aunt Ruth broke her hip and she's at the hospital, then you made a joke about hospital food. If I ha-ha that joke, I'm ha-haing that Aunt Ruth broke her hip. For the record, the appropriate response would obviously be... Ha-ha. <laughs> T-T-Y-L. Red cross emoji. Heart, heart, heart. Parents. And Dad. I'm listening. You're my comedy compass. You're the person I trust the most. Huh? Can you film this? and you betrayed me. If you don't like one of my jokes, you have to tell me it's not funny. You can't lie. As parents, it's our job to encourage our children and support their dreams. Wait, so you and Mom have been lying to all of us? Well, I, I, I wouldn't call it lying. Well, well that's you exactly what it I mean, is, actually, oh, because oh, you listen to your Just open and sit in the kitchen, mute like the straight face, and I come to you and say, it's just all right, all right, all right, all right. You guys think total honesty is the way to go? Let's do it. From now on, we're all gonna be totally honest about everything all the time. I'll start. <clears throat> I'm tired of this conversation, so I'm leaving. Wait, I'm not leaving, I'm the dad. I'm gonna stay right where I am, and you all can leave. I'm gonna get back to my magazine and find out what is in when you're out on the town. You haven't gone out in the town in 20 years. Tight tank tops and sunglasses that bring out your personality. I don't know what to tell you, boys. Artificial intelligence is the wave of the future, and Golbox is the first step. He's efficient. He's customer friendly. He can even tell you your horoscope. Go ahead, give him your sign. Aries. Aries, your job is in danger. Aquarius. Aquarius, your job is also in danger. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Mr. Kim, we need this job to help finance our movie. We'll work twice as hard. We'll come in on the weekends. We'll wash our hands before we handle the food. Just please give us a chance. I'll tell you what I'll do. I have two days left before I have to purchase this or return it. If you boys can outperform this modern miracle, the job is yours. You won't regret your decision. We're gonna run circles around this waitress on wheels. Game on. Operation Sticky Sidewalk is foolproof. He's gonna go right into that wet cement and get stuck. It's time to turn that robot into a nobody. That's the perfect line for me to say at the end of our movie. I thought I was playing Magenta Jones. No, you're playing Abernathy McCoy, the absent-minded yet brilliant scientist. Does he have an eye patch? No, he does not. What happened? The cement's supposed to be... What? Oh, my eye. Not happening, Clyde. 